Hey everyone and welcome to my review of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now, before we get into this review, I'm just going to go over the specifications once more. Um, it's got a 4.65 inch uh, display, which is absolutely massive. Um, it's got a, a screen resolution of 720 by 1280 which is just brilliant. That is an amazingly good looking screen. It's also a Super AMOLED display. Uh, the battery is uh, 1750 mAh, it's dual core 1.2 GHz, and um, don't think that's anything slow, this is the first version of Android that's really optimised for dual core, so you're going to see a huge speed of movement over the Galaxy S2 and uh, other dual core phones that are already out on the market. Um, it's got uh, a gigabyte of inbuilt RAM and it comes in two versions, 16 and 32 gigs. Um, with the uh, camera we have a 5 megapixel camera with uh, LED flash and autofocus. It's also got z uh, zero shutter lag which for me has been a really big problem with um, most Android phones, the shutter lag. Um, but anyway, let's just go over the, um, over the phone itself anyway now. Uh, on the left hand side we have uh, the volume rockers. On the bottom we have our micro USB charging port, microphone port and um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, on the right hand side, I'm not entirely sure what that is, so if anyone can find out for me and leave it in the comment section below, um, then yeah, that would that's be handy. Because I've looked over online and I can't really find anything on it. Um, and we also have the uh, power on, off, unlock, unlock key. And on the top, we have nothing. On the back, we have uh, the 5 megapixel camera with, with LED flash and uh, a rather flimsy. Um, Back play, to my opinion, it's really hard to get on. It took me about an hour at the at start because I didn't have a clue how to put it on. But uh, on the front, we have the uh, 1.3 megapixel camera um, as well, and uh, no physical buttons. They're all virtual with this phone. So if we look, um, as you can see, they just popped up. Back at uh, home and option. I'm guessing that is. No, it just shows the multitasking. Sorry, I haven't. Really had a huge amount of time to get uh, used to this phone uh, since Vodafone really need this one back. But anyway, um, what is it? Ah, there we go. Anyway, that's that, and uh, now let's get into the full review. Okay, this is the first phone that is truly optimized for dual core, as I just mentioned. So let's just run the advanced task killer, not, not alarms. Uh, advanced task killer, kill the tasks there and uh, show you how fast it opens applications such as Angry Birds. Um, well, this is running, uh, the core quality on this device is uh, pretty damn nice. It's, um, it's about the same um, core quality as you'd expect from the iPhone 4, um, well, as you get from the iPhone 4 even. So if you've ever used an iPhone 4, then it's pretty much uh, the same core quality as that. It's really nice core quality. Um, yeah, you can watch me fail at Angry Birds. No, let's, let's just leave that out of it. <laughs> and um, jump right into the quadrant standard test. Now, this application isn't correctly formatted for this uh, version of Android. Well, that's that's what I think anyway, since it's uh, giving a lot less, uh, a lot lower scores than the Galaxy S2, uh, which usually scores in at about 3,000 performance points. Uh, this has been scoring in at about uh, between 1,400 and 1,900 every time I've run the test so far. Um, but Anyway, so far uh, with this device, I've had pretty damn good core quality. It's been pretty much the same as the iPhone 4S. Um, battery life is uh, brilliant. I actually haven't managed to kill it yet uh, with average usage um, since I've been putting the phone on charge every night like I normally do with my iPhone since I've been using it as a primary phone. Um, so for me, it's uh, it's been getting pretty much for a day with uh, about 25% 25 to 30% battery left so with battery life I'd say it's pretty damn good it's definitely the best um, Android phone I've used so far in terms of battery um, okay so performance points with quadrant standard uh, we have 1692 as the score this time round which um, isn't the best but um, Oh well, um, as I said, I don't think the application is really correctly formatted uh, for ice cream sandwich yet, so I can't really demote it on that. Uh, in terms of actual speed, the phone is lightning fast, uh, so um, let's jump into an application like YouTube. Let's just show you the uh, video quality. Um, I think I already have a video 
Oh, yeah, there's already a video brought up uh, from Freddy W. So, let's... Oh, it's That's just about enough of that. So, if you're wondering why I always use Freddy W as an example, it's because um, his videos are always filmed in HD uh, on 1080p cameras. So, um, they're normally very good uh, videos to use as examples, especially when you've got a phone like this with a absolutely brilliant display. Um, so, anyway, as you, as you probably heard, the speaker quality is pretty damn good. It's not the loudest loudspeaker in the world. But this is uh, pretty clear. I have had a few uh, issues with those. Sometimes it starts crackling um, every now and then. So if using the loudspeaker um, over a long period of time, it does seem to start crackling every now and then. Um, that's when I've been listening to music on it, though. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a weird bug. But um, I'm not sure if that's just limits this uh, device, this uh, particular phone. But anyway, if you've got if you've tried a Galaxy Next and it's also done this, then leave it in the comment section below. Okay, so one of the main highlights with um, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich are the fact that we now have zero camera shutter delay. So if we take a few photos of my iPhone here, it's pretty much instant. Um, you can see that. Let's bring it into the full camera app. Um, actually, it's, it's uh, about average camera quality. I'm going to go out uh, in a few minutes and get some uh, proper photos to test uh, on this phone. Uh, so those will be up on Flickr if you want to check those out, link in the description. But uh, so far the camera is pretty average. It's not the best video quality in the world, uh, but then again, Android Android for me never has had brilliant video quality. It's, that's always been its uh, letdown. It's got a pretty good stills camera, but um, but uh, the um, video quality has never really been amazing with Android, which is a bit uh, of a letdown, but oh well. Another nice feature with um, Ice Cream Sandwich is uh, the new keyboard that it has. Uh, because this keyboard is the first keyboard I've been able to use without any issues. So let's just say, uh, hey, how are you? Normally I'd make a million and one mistakes with an Android keyboard, it ends up frustrating me, but I don't know if it's the size of the screen or if uh, they finally perfected the keyboard on Android, but this is the first one I haven't had to exchange the keyboard for with a new um, keyboard from the Android marketplace. Its uh, keys are fairly well spaced out, uh, as you can see here, they're nice and big as well, so you can't really uh, make a mistake with the keyboard. It's a really nice keyboard. Now, in my opinion, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus is definitely my favourite Android phones I've used to date. Before it was um, the Samsung Galaxy S2, and that's not me being a fan of Samsung, because uh, um, things like the back cover definitely would have been nice to see a decent back cover on this phone, because it's really, really thin and really flimsy. I know I know you broke it when I was putting it back on, uh, but. Um, Anyway, um, as an overall, this is a really nice phone. Uh, it doesn't matter about specifications when it comes to a phone. It's how it acts as a whole. And this one performs absolutely brilliantly. It's really fast, really good call quality. Uh, decent camera performance. Um, it's got a really nice keyboard. It's a bit big for my liking. Um, and normally for something the size of the iPhone and the iPhone that fits inside of this phone. Um, but yeah, it's it is a really nice phone. It's really fast. It's got a good battery. It's all thumbs up for me. Um, so if you're in the market for a new phone, you don't want an iPhone, you're not so keen on Windows Phone 7, definitely check out the Samsung Galaxy Nexus or the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, if you want, which in my opinion are the two best Android phones. Um, they're both really fast. They both just perform brilliantly. So yeah, that is that anyway. Thanks for watching this review, everyone. If you enjoyed it, please uh, leave uh, some comments and uh, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. 
Um, if you feel there's anything I could have touched on a bit uh, more, or if you'd like any more information, then leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, yeah, as I said, Flickr photos, uh, proper photo tests, and a video test will be up on my Flickr account, which will be linked in the description. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the rest of our content as well. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video, which will hopefully be a um, unboxing of the no uh, Nokia Lumia 800 or the uh, HTC Sensation XL. I'm waiting for either one of those phones to come in from Vodafone at the moment. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this video.